give you uh, the perspective of a smaller Austrian subsidiary in, in Ostoina and um, you ask questions later on. So. Okay, so first of all I want to thank Advantage Austria for the invitation to this meeting and then I quickly want to introduce our company and what we do so that they have a little bit of background. And I'm here today to represent Technocare Electronic Systems. It's one of our subsidiaries in Slovenia. We have in total three uh, production sites. One is in Austria, where is also the headquarter located. One is in Postoina and one is in Udine in Italy. And we are a family, com family owned company and we have around 100 employees. And we are in the electronic uh, industry. We are a service company and we produce for our customers the electronics, electronic devices. For the past one, two years we could increase our sales and we had a really good water, full filled water books and for the production site in Slovenia we could increase the amount of the employees and also we increased the investments in Slovenia. And the prediction for 2023 is also very good for our company and also for the Slovenian production side. Currently we are looking for um, a property in Slovenia because we want to create our own production hall because at the moment we are still renting a building. We also invested last year in some new machines for our production and also this year we will want to buy one or two new machines to increase the amount of production in Slovenia. And now to the experiences what we had with the with Slovenia and I want to start with the positive things. Uh, we have positive experience with the employees. So last year we employed six to eight uh, new workers and this year we, will, we want also to employ three to five new workers and we are we have a really good feedback from the employer mark, employee market and we are finding at the moment really good workers of course they are like it's not um uh how to say a uh, skilled uh, sorry yeah so we are searching for production workers and not skilled uh, workers but in any case the feedback from the market is, is very good and we also have uh, good experiences with the value attached to quality so our employees have a really good understanding of the quality that we produce and that it has to be really high quality for the Austrian market and the German market so they know how to, to produce this good quality and also I want to say that we have good experience with the with the Slovenian, uh, for example, with Advantage Austria, because they helped us a lot in the beginning of our production site. We started in 2016 and we had a lot of help from Advantage Austria. We get a lot of good connections from them and also the other Slovenian uh, connections that we got were very helpful. Uh, they helped us with the bank, they helped us with the building to rent, so we were really glad to have these uh, connections that helped us a lot. And negative, I, wanted, I want to say the bureaucracy. Also Mr. Nest already uh, explained it. Uh, so for example, when we wanted to open a bank account or find a property or we want to have some subventions, it's really hard for us as an Austrian company to, to open it or find the property on our own. So we always need some kind of help from our Slovenian connections to, to get introduced to the banks or find some properties and also with the subventions we had some bad experience in the past where it was very hard for us to, to get into the system. So the overall experience is good, we want to strengthen the production side in Slovenia but as already said the bureaucracy is a little bit of a problem for us as an Austrian company. Thank you. I'm very, very happy that uh, Vitronic, Mr. Walchhofer, um, has made a lot of positive experience here.
here in, in Slovenia. And um, maybe as they have chosen Postojna as their uh, location because it's also closer to Italy. Um, maybe this could also be an incentive for some Austrian subsidiaries to go to areas where the density of Austrian foreign direct investment yet is not that high. Because if you look at the map, of course, it's all rather in the center of Slovenia and, and towards Austria, not that much in the southwest where you're located, mm -hmm. um, or maybe towards, towards Croatia. So um, obviously, um, investment is very much welcome um, all over Slovenia and the authorities and, and also possible uh, suppliers are very happy to welcome um, investment from abroad also in areas where many um, other companies still have not, not uh, decided to invest. So, so uh, this could be an incentive for Austrians <coughs> not only to focus on Maribor, Ljubljana and Celia but also to think where I might get workers because what you say is very positive because you said you, you look for three new employees and from the labor um, market service you, they, they uh, introduced how many? Yeah, we searched now for three new guys and we got uh, very good feedback and around 30 applicants we had for this position and 10 from these 30 applicants had also experience already in the electronic industry. What is for us very important because we have, when we talk about soldering the electronic boards, it's very good to have some experience because otherwise the learning phase takes a little bit longer. And if they are, have already experienced, also the quality of the work is a different one. If in, is a different one and if you get a new worker without experience, in yeah, our case it's him, yeah. very hard to, to train him and it takes a lot of time for us. But do you know if these uh, people um, were unemployed or just wanted to change from one co uh, company to the other? Because then we have the same situation like in the pharmaceutical industry in, in, in Obomesto or in the automotive where people just go from one company to the next. Yeah. And at this time we experienced that uh, not most of the applicants, but some of them they want to change. So we saw that uh, some of them they have like a cancellation period, so they are not employed and just want to, to change the, the company and work somewhere else for the experience, I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So this also um, underlines that working for uh, um, foreign company, let's say, it seems to be still attractive for many people, maybe for the reason that uh, um, the salary is higher there, the wages, or maybe the business culture is different, I don't know. But I think it's just a good uh, symbiosis of uh, Slovenian and Austrian business culture, and that is what makes Austrian subsidiaries also so successful in in Slovenia and uh, the uh, surrounding countries.